partner doesn't want to bother locking apartment door when he leaves, while I'm inside alone. I live in an apartment complex with my male partner and our dog. When possible, he takes our dog out at night, rather than me, for obvious reasons. When he takes her out at night, I noticed he often doesn't lock the apartment door. The building is locked, but there are lots of people with the building key. Tonight when he came back in, I asked him to start locking the apartment door because I'd be more comfortable if it were locked. While I'm in here alone at night, he says there's nothing to be afraid of. While I think it's unlikely that anything would happen knock on wood, I don't see how this is an unreasonable ask. Do other women not lock their apartment door? If the general building is locked already, Edit 1 to clarify the lock situation the door is left truly unlocked. Meaning there is no automatic lock that kicks in which requires a key or any non-public knowledge. To get inside, opening the apartment door just requires the will to do so with one's hands, feet, a high quality lobster claw, etc. Edit 2 could do I lock it myself from inside? Yes. When I know he's going out because I'm in the same room as the front door. Sometimes. However. I'm brushing my teeth on the other side of the apartment. Or showering. And do not necessarily know when he's leaving. People in general do not recognize a problem they don't have. He doesn't fear someone sneaking into the apartment and attacking him. Therefore he thinks you shouldn't. Change the locks to the type that lock automatically. Problem solved. Then watch the hysterics when he forgets the key and locks himself out. We always lock the door, even when home. There's no reason for leaving it open. Live in a constant state of paranoia. Then why does anyone have locks on the doors? I'd invest in a door that automatically locks if your boyfriend is being so cavalier and dismissive. Not to scare you but serial killer Richard Chase took locked doors as a sign that he was not welcome. But unlocked doors were an invitation to come inside. This is not about safety, statistics, or gender stereotypes. It's about respect, empathy and common courtesy. He should simply lock the door because he knows you're feeling unsafe. He chooses to ignore this simple request. What other needs of yours does he ignore? My ex's mother was raped in a home invasion while he worked on his car in the shed. My grandparents have been robbed twice whilst they worked in the garden. I have been doing the dishes and someone tried the door handle on my screen door. Thankfully it was locked. You're not paranoid. He's a selfish asshole who seemingly places his desire to be logical over your safety. News flash. He isn't being logical. He's being stubborn and cavalier with your safety. What a jerk. There's nothing to be afraid of. Answers for him. 1. You can't know that. 2. If it makes me feel safer. Then why not? It's more important to him to save 30s of his time than to give you peace of mind. He is invalidating your concerns and belittles you. Does he do that frequently? I would bet a lot of money that this is not a singular incident. Was married to one to these. Notice past tense. Some people have suggested investing in new locks. But investing in a partner that cares about your safety might have higher returns. Bro. I bugged my ex about locking the doors constantly. He always forgot. Or said it wasn't a huge deal. Until one day when he was sleeping he got scared awake by someone outside. When I got home he was frantic about telling me we had to lock all the doors and make sure the Windows were closed before we went to bed. Like it was some new revelation. I just stared at him. Dismissal and invalidation destroy relationships. 
Him dismissing invalidating your feelings is a red flag that he cares more about convenience than your safety. Many people have been attacked after RISTS care easily slid through unlocked doors and windows. When the threat is real it's not paranoia. Your instincts keep you safe. But it seems like your BF would rather avoid conflict than teamwork solutions for your valid fear. I asked my partner the exact same thing tears of joy what if someone tries the door after he leaves. His response was well you're home. Most confusing thing ever. Had my home broken into while I was home. My paranoia about locking doors saved me from three men who couldn't get in easy. Fuck being judged for basic safety and common sense. It's giving me that weird vibe some men have of you don't tell me what to do when their wife. Sister mother asks them to do anything. Because they feel doing anything a woman says as being controlled. When in reality, they're the controlling one. A marriage counselor once told my husband. If it is important to her. It's important. My husband still doesn't understand why it's important to me but he complies for me. Why the fuck would he complain about such a stupidly easy to do request though? He says. Annoyed. There's nothing to be afraid of. Spoken like someone who's never worried about anyone but himself. Switch to a self-locking set. If you can. If not. Either lose the baggage calling himself a boyfriend. Or get used to locking it every time he leaves. He doesn't care because he's callous as fuck and thinks it's a you problem. Make it a him problem. Lock the door when he leaves. Drop a bomb on him during his inevitable tantrum. I made a reasonable request this is important to me. If you don't care about my safety and well-being. I'll find a man who does. He is displaying zero respect or consideration for you very valid concerns. I am guessing this may happen elsewhere in the relationship but you keep dismissing it for whatever reason. Not only is he condescending. But his complete lack of concern for your safety is bewildering. He's dismissive of your feelings. Responds childishly. And refuses to make a tiny effort change to make you feel safe. You should talk to him about this and how he is not taking you seriously. It's not right how he handled this. Men just don't have the same sense of personal vulnerability as women do. I was sharing a house with two roommates. A man and a woman. When there was a series of home invasions in my neighborhood. We had a house meeting and agreed that unless you or a roommate knew who the person at the door was, that we wouldn't open the door. The very next day there was a knock at the door. My guy friend, God bless him, went to the front door, opened it up wide, and said, Hi, can I help you? Even if, for argument's sake, We agree that it is paranoid of you why can he not work with you to help you feel safer. This is complete dismissal of your concerns and comfort which is a big red flag Imo. Does he lock the doors at night when you're both asleep? Is that not paranoid by his reckoning? Thing is. It's not about whether you're paranoid you're not. It's normal to want to feel safe. It's about this. His petty convictions and laziness are somehow so important. He can't be bothered to and I want to emphasize this turn his wrist that's it. That's what you're asking him to do. Turn his wrist clockwise and counterclockwise. Locking a door takes seconds. What kind of a person puts up a fuss about something this menial? And just so you know I asked my BF the same thing three years ago. Once. And yes, the door is always locked now.